Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a scene from a TV show called Heart of Dixie. Heart of Dixie is about a doctor called Zoe Hart who moves from New York to Alabama. So that's where the name comes from. Dixie is a historical nickname for the southern United States and Heart of Dixie is a nickname for Alabama. If you'd like to watch the scene first, follow the link now or you can find the video on our script page. The scene is from season one, episode one, when Zoe has just arrived in a town called Bluebell, which is in Alabama. And she's walking along the road and a guy called George is driving past and he stops to offer her a ride. George tells Zoe that he also used to live in New York. He says, I lived in Tribeca for a while when I worked at Cravath. Tribeca is a neighborhood in Manhattan in New York City. It's an interesting name. It comes from Triangle Below Canal Street and it was originally spelt like this. There are several neighborhoods in New York City which have names that have been made in similar ways such as Soho which comes from south of Houston Street and Noho which comes from north of Houston Street. It's kind of fun. The main street of Auckland is Queen Street so I wonder if it would catch on if I started calling some places No Q and So Q. Probably not. Anyway, we're getting a bit sidetracked. Back to the scene. George says he worked at Cravath and Zoe says, as in Cravath, Swain and Moore. I thought this was just a company name they made it for the show, but I looked it up and it's actually a real company. Wikipedia says it's one of the most prestigious law firms in the US. As in is a useful phrase to remember for when you're asking for clarification like Zoe is here. You may have heard the phrase free as in speech not free as in beer. This is something someone said about software because in English free has different meanings. It can mean no restrictions or no price. If someone says something was funny you might want to clarify like this. Funny as in strange or funny as in ha ha. Kia ora, in stick news today, police in Turkey have busted a counterfeit popsicle stick gang. An ice cream company in Istanbul has been producing ice cream bars with free written on some of the sticks. Customers can use these sticks to claim a free ice cream bar. The company complained to police when they received back more sticks than they had originally produced. Police raided an office building and found thousands of fake popsicle sticks with a free mark on them and machines used to produce them. The popsicle stick ring had been producing and distributing fake sticks for three years. The popsicle sticks were used to get free ice creams in some markets and sell them to other markets at half price. And that was Stick News for Monday the 20th of July. Kia ora. Today's word is purgatory. Purgatory is a Christian concept and I don't know a lot about it but from what I can gather scanning the Wikipedia page if you've been good all your life like me of course then when you die you'll go directly to heaven and if you've been very bad then you'll go directly to hell but if you've been mostly good a little bit bad then When you die, you'll go to a place called Purgatory first, and then you'll go to heaven after that. And while you're in Purgatory, you'll go through some kind of purification. In a non-religious sense, Purgatory can be used to describe a situation of temporary suffering. And that's what Zoe means when she says, I've been exiled from Manhattan. This is my Purgatory. She really loves New York and she wanted to stay there but she couldn't get a job so she had to go to Bluebell. So she's being dramatic and she calls it her purgatory. But George loves Bluebell and so he says, well if you consider purgatory to be a place where neighbours take care of each other and every third Tuesday demands a parade, well you can call it what you want, 
but I call it home. Thank you, but I have a strong policy against strangers chopping me up into a million pieces. As in cravath, swain and more. What are you doing here? Um, I've been exiled from Manhattan. This is my purgatory. Can I offer you a ride, ma'am? If it helps, I'm an attorney, not an axe murderer. Just leave that there, I'll get it for you. So let me guess, New Yorker? I lived in Tribeca for a while when I worked at Cravath. Yeah. Take it you're not in town for the crawdads, huh? Well, if you consider purgatory to be a place where neighbours take care of each other and every third Tuesday demands a parade, well, you can call it what you want, but I call it home. Dixie is a historical nickname for A. Delaware, B. The Southern United States. The Southern United States. Heart of Dixie is a nickname for A. Alabama, B. Alaska. Alabama. Tribeca is a neighborhood in A. Alabama, B. New York City. New York City. The name Tribeca comes from A. Triangle below California State, B. Triangle below Canal Street. Triangle below Canal Street. The name Soho comes from A. South of Hotel California, B. South of Houston Street. South of Houston Street. And that was The Daily English Show. A couple of months ago, someone suggested we set up a Patreon page. And I'm happy to say I have finally set that up. So if you'd like to support us through Patreon, please go and check out our Patreon page. If you haven't heard of Patreon, it's a crowdfunding platform where you can give ongoing support to creators that you like. You can decide how much you give each month and you can stop at any time. So that's patreon.com slash the daily English show. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, we'd really appreciate it. And thank you so much to everyone who's already supported us by giving donations and in so many other ways. See you tomorrow. Bye.